FIRE INVESTIGATORS TRYING TO PIECE TOGETHER THE CAUSE OF A DEVASTATING FIRE IN DOWNTOWN PORT GIBSON. THE FIRE TOOK OUT TWO BUILDINGS. AND AS 16 WABD SCOTT SIMMONS SHOWS US, IT ALSO CREATED A VOID IN WHAT WAS MISSISSIPPI HISTORY. THE SMOKING EMBERS OF AN OLD MASONIC LODGE AND THE GAS STATION NEXT TO IT. RESIDENTS IN PORT GIBSON ARE STILL TALKING ABOUT IT. IT'S A for PORT GIBSON. A MASSIVE FIRE BROKE OUT AFTER EIGHT MONDAY NIGHT. Melting the siding of a building across the street and the traffic lights nearby. He was real sad. Just sorry that it happened. Investigators believe they do have their work cut out for them trying to figure out what caused this fire. One thing they do know, it was a building that did not have electricity going to it. No electricity, no utilities in the building. You know, I don't have a clue. But residents know that massive fire claimed more than just a couple of buildings. Because it was a historical building, you have a lot of history in Port Gibson. In fact, there is now a charred marker noting its importance on the Mississippi Blues Trail. Oh, that's not just a building. This was part of history. This was part of a legacy of Claiborne County. Melvin Anderson houses much of the troops' memorabilia down the street at the Cultural Crossroads, the banner that was displayed before shows, calling it the greatest colored show on earth. It was a traveling show that traveled all across the state of Mississippi and other parts of the United States with the only black, um, all African American uh, dance act show. Dancers, actors, performers, musicians, and singers who would gather at this spot each spring to compile their stage performances and hit the road. A piece of blues history now gone up in smoke, but not forgotten. In Port Gibson, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News. And it was quite a fight for firefighters last night in Port Gibson. It took them two hours to get that fire under control.